So we kind of came in with this hypothesis that in the same way that we use our brain to experience and explore our own real world environments, we also use those same brain processes to actually learn about virtual games or virtual environments. And so what we've been doing is watching people play video games, watching them experience these virtual worlds and seeing if we can actually improve memory, if we can actually exercise these areas of the hippocampus that we would kind of uh, predict are involved. My name is uh, Dr. Dane Clemson. I'm a research scientist here at UC Irvine with uh, Professor Craig Stark. Um, we're in the Center for the Neurobiology of Learning and Memory. I got my PhD from UC San Diego um, exploring environmental enrichment in animals, just basically how the environment can have an actual dramatic impact on the brain. Um, how can we actually take that knowledge and apply it to humans? And so the idea behind the environment and how it impacts the brain, um, I've been looking at how virtual environments through video games can actually impact the brain. So one of the things that we've shown kind of with that uh, initial paper is that we have a task that's very sensitive to hippocampal function and it's essentially just like a memory task. Um, and what we've been able to show in young people and college students in middle-aged people as well as in older adults that you can actually improve their memory kind of on these uh, general memory tasks just by playing video games. You know what we meant by kind of 3D video games is really the fact that there's an environment right and, and kind of having that environment to experience is really important. What we've really been looking at is specifically spatial exploration of video games and things like that. So one of the reasons why we specifically use kind of games like Minecraft is that we can eliminate those things, right? We're really interested in this idea of the environment, and the experience of exploring and things like that. And so games like Minecraft allow us to do that, right? Um, as a scientist, we want to kind of isolate individual features of video games to really see what, you know, what the effects of each of these individual elements actually are. You know, something about the environment, whether it's spatial awareness, whether about it's just a more inherently more complex game, uh, because it has so much more depth, but something about those types of games, these modern video games, whether it's the open world or, you know, um, the immersiveness of kind of these new games, but something about it is actually stimulating the campus. One of my hypotheses about why building can actually help is that to kind of build large three-dimensional structures in something like Minecraft, I mean, you guys have seen what people can build in those. Um, it does kind of require a lot of uh, spatial translation, right? Understanding, being able to see things from new perspectives in a very three-dimensional way. Um, one of the fun kind of collaborations that we have on the side is we are working with um, some architects over in San Diego. Uh, there's the New School for Architecture, and we're doing some fun experiments looking at how elements of design might actually play into that. They're very interested in the spatial sense, you know, how can we design new buildings or spaces that kind of, you know, closer resemble what the brain would experience. Everybody asks me, you know, how much should I play? What game should I play? Um, and, you know, I should say right off the bat that, you know, in our experiments, when we're doing, people are just playing consistently for only, you know, 30 minutes a day or something. So it really doesn't take a lot. Um, people play up to two weeks, um, a month in some cases, but um, it doesn't take a lot. I think it's just kind of consistent exposure. And, um, you know, importantly, you know, everyone should remember that you can't play video games to the extent that you are neglecting, you know, sleep or you know, exercise or good health and things like that. There are so many things out there that we know are good for your brain, uh, like all those things I just mentioned. And you can't do it to the extreme that you are neglecting those other ones. But, um, you know, I would say there's absolutely nothing wrong with trying to do this.